the next topic that is nuclear binding energy now see here actually when we think about the protons and neutrons in independent state free state and when they combine to form any element so at that time there is the mass defect now what is the exact meaning of this mass defect let's understand this thing now we know mass of proton that is 1.00727u mass of neutron that is 1.00866u and now suppose we take mass of oxygen atom then oxygen that is <coughs> 8o16 its mass that is 15.99493u ओके हम अपने लॉजिकली विचारिए तो जो शू थे एक्चुअली ऑक्सिजन अंदर आठ प्रोटोन सिक्सटीन देट इज एटमिक मस सिक्सटीन माइनस एट देट इज एट न्यूट्रॉन नंबर एक्सिजन एटम अंदर न्यूक्लियस में आठ प्रोटोन है आठ न्यूट्रॉन है now we have mass of one proton it implies that mass of eight protons that will be 8 into 1.00727 and it will come to 8.05816u then if we take mass of eight neutrons then that is 8 into 1.00866 upon into yes 8 so we will get resultant 8.06928u now logically we can say this thing when 8 proton and 8 neutron combine to form oxygen atom then the total mass that should be 8mp plus 8mn so mass of 8 protons that we calculated 8.05816 and mass of 8 neutrons we calculated that is 8.06928 if we take the summation of these two then our answer will come to 16.12744u so logically apne joa jaiye आठ प्रोटोन आठ न्यूट्रॉन भेगा तो टोटल मस आटलू थे एक्चुअली जय ऑक्सिजन एटम न फॉर्मेशन थे एटम न जो आप मस लीन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फोर नाइन थ्री यू थे हम जो आप डिफरस लीए सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन टू सेवन फोर फोर यू माइनस फिफ्टीन Point nine nine four nine three u. Then it will come to point one three two five one u. So, आज ये mass missing चहे. That is mass defect. Actually, that particular mass is converted into energy as per Einstein's equation e equal to m c square. So here this delta m mass, which is called mass defect, converts into energy. So that energy delta m into c square, that is called binding energy of the nucleus. Means with this much energy, the nucleus is bounded. So we can write. the equation for mass defect delta m that is total mass of number of protons in free state plus total mass of number of neutrons in free state minus mass of that element 
that is bind the mass defect and binding energy of nucleus that we can give by delta m into c square suppose this binding energy is divided by atomic mass number then we will get binding energy per nucleon એટલે આનો मीनिंग એવો થાય કે જો બાઇન્ડિંગ એનર્જી ઓફ ન્યુક્લિયસ આપણે લઈએ ધારો કે અહીંયા આગળ આપણે માસ ડિફેક્ટ ફોર ઓક્સિજન ધેટ ઇઝ 0.13251 યુ આટલી મળી હવે આપણે આગળ ઉપર કેલ્ક્યુલેટ કર્યું કે 1 યુ ધેટ ઇઝ 931.5 ઇલેક્ટ્રોન વોલ્ટ તો આટલા યુ એટલે કેટલા ઇલેક્ટ્રોન વોલ્ટ तो हम दीस वन मल्टीप्लाय बाइ नाइन थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव करूक्लियस विल बी ब्रोकन अप the nucleons in the nucleus will be free from it and now if binding energy is divided by the number of nucleons means atomic mass number then we will get binding energy per nucleon એટલે કે જો આપણે binding energy per nucleon jitli energy supply kariye to ek nucleon ne apne free kari sakiye this is the concept of mass defect and nuclear binding energy clear to all of you see here in this graph we can observe this thing for atomic mass number 30 to 170 the variation in binding energy per nucleon that is very small so we can consider the binding energy per nucleon in this particular range is almost constant see here cow have maximum binding energy that is for fe 8.75 mev and for a equal to 238 it is 7.6 somewhere here it is 7.6 mev so variation is very small but here see now binding energy per nucleon that is the measure of the stability of nucleus jam binding energy per nucleon vadhare hoy m apde nucleon ne nucleus ma thi free karva mate vadhare energy aapvi pade to જે ન્યુક્લિયસ માટે બાઇન્ડિંગ એનર્જી પર ન્યુક્લિયોન વધારે હોય ધેટ પર્ટિક્યુલર ન્યુક્લિયસ ઇઝ કન્સિડર્ડ એઝ મોસ્ટ સ્ટેબલ ન્યુક્લિયાઈ એન્ડ સી ગ્રાફ રિપ્રેઝન્ટ ધીસ થિંગ ફોર એફઈ બાઇન્ડિંગ એનર્જી પર ન્યુક્લિયોન ધેટ ઇઝ મેક્સિમમ વન ફોર એફઈ એ ધેટ ઇઝ ઇક્વલ ટુ ફિફ્ટી સિક્સ એન્ડ ફોર ધેટ બાઇન્ડિંગ એનર્જી પર ન્યુક્લિયોન ધેટ ઇઝ 8.75 mev so iron that is the most stable nuclei okay and see here now on lighter side એટલે કે atomic mass number less than 30 જઈએ આપણે અને પછી for heavier nuclei એટલે 170 થી ઉપર જઈએ આ બાજુ right so binding energy per nucleon decrease thai che right to study aapanne aavu batave che graph clear now from this graph we can conclude something related to the nucleus here this binding energy per nucleon which one is representing how strongly the nucleus is bounded which suggest this thing the attractive forces in the nucleus are sufficient strong 
ठीक है एज वेल एज दिस बाइंडिंग एनर्जी ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंट दिस थिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर फोर्सिस आर शॉर्ट रेंज फोर्सिस इट इंप्लाइज दैट द distances between nucleons if it is very 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 less than and then only this particular nuclear forces will be effective one and here we can observe this thing when heavy nuclei see here on this side if heavy nuclei is broken up एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू लाइटर न्यूक्लियाई अपन सीम्पल टेक्स में एक्जाम्पल आप इक्वल टू टू फोर्टी वालू न्यूक्लियाई सपोज वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी बे न्यूक्लियाई में डिवाइड थी जाए राइट तो टू फोर्टी एनर्जी देट इज हियर लेस देन एट आ but when it is converted into two lighter nuclei of a equal to 120 120 so here we can observe this thing for that the binding energy per nucleon that is greater than 8 mev clear so heavier nuclei when it is divided in smaller nuclei at that time the energy releases when binding energy per nucleon increases it implies that energy releases and this particular process that is called fission process in the same manner here see we can observe this thing for lighter nuclei the binding energy per nucleon that is less but when this lighter nuclei combine to form the heavier nuclei so when heavier nuclei is formed then again we can observe here for heavier nuclei the binding energy per nucleon increases so when binding energy increases the energy will be released okay so this particular process in which lighter nuclei combine to form the heavier nuclei that process is known as a fusion process so either the fission or fusion takes place for the nuclei the energy that will be always released clear to all of you